Okay, we are in Sevierville, Tennessee. We've been hiking all day, all over Gatlinburg and even over to North Carolina. It's really hot outside. We're tired. We're really hungry. And we've seen uh, Penn Station East Coast Suds. With, we tried it yesterday. We didn't shoot a video for it. It was so good. We want to come back and try a different sandwich today and show y'all what we think. Yeah. Let's go try one again. Yeah, I think let's go. Okay, we just finished up, and uh, I don't know what commentary we could put in there if she had to mute it again because of the yep. music playing and copyright things with YouTube because they, they can be real. It was yeah, really weird. Okay, it's our second day eating here in a row, which that should say that we liked it. Yesterday, I had the smaller uh, Philly cheesesteak. Um, wow, it was really good. Bread is crunchy. Uh, everything was really good on it. You had the chicken parm yesterday, which again, this didn't make the video. Um, you liked it though, right? Yeah, it was pretty good. Today, I got the Italian, and you got the chicken teriyaki. Yeah, Talk yeah. about your teriyaki. It's pretty good. I think I liked it better than one I had yesterday. Yeah, it, it's uh, yeah, it, it was really good. I tried a little bit of a chicken on camera, but it was it was great. Uh, I got the the Italian. Now I got the. You can get your Italian either uh, um, cold or heated. I got mine cold because it was really hot outside and it's just I wanted a cold sandwich. 
uh, but they toasted the bread anyway. I've never seen that done before where they, on a cold sandwich where they would do that. Their bread here is amazing. Uh, you, you don't usually brag on the bread at a sandwich place, but it can make or break sandwiches if, you, if, if it's really good. Their bread is fantastic. Also, compared to other places, they have hand cut fries. I mean, they got the big bins of potatoes there, and they, they hand cut them, and they're, they're good fries. <clears throat> the cookie, what do you think of the cookie? It's pretty good, it's cakey. But it's very cakey, it's not crunchy, it's kind of soft. But it's got a great flavor to it. I like the chocolate in it. It's not like normal chocolate chunks. It's chocolate chunk cookie. Just had a really good flavor to it. Um, overall, very impressed. Uh, I like it a lot. Uh, would it beat out uh, <laughs> Jersey Mike's is my number one favorite sandwich place? It might. <laughs> it really might, because I love Jersey Mike's and I love Firehouse too. We may try to do a Firehouse one and do a compare all here if we can make that work. Or not, we'll just see how it goes. But uh, anyway, from Severeville, Brian and Deanne saying, See y'all, love you, mean it. Okay, today we're on the west side of Knoxville in Farragut, Tennessee. We're gonna try a firehouse sub since we just had Penn Stations East Coast subs yesterday in Pigeon Forge. I wanna compare, I'm gonna have Italian versus Italian. Deanne's gonna have whatever she can get, can get, <laughs> close she can get, some type of chicken sandwich, I'm sure. We'll see what we got in public fire. Ready again? Yeah, let's go. Let's go eat. You get a little bit more meat here. Okay. It's so good. It really is. Mm. Oh, I thought I had it in the car. I don't know. I have to think about it. I mean, that's get your body or chicken bacon ranch. Buy the bread, though. Mm -hmm. Next, next, y'all. Which do you like better? I don't know. I have to think about it and talk about it in the car. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's just not fire. Oh no, oh no, it's so good. Oops, I don't want to buy the brownie. Mm. Okay, try yours. What's in that crunchy, crusty edge and then the gooey in the middle? Mm -hmm. Talked about two, didn't you? What do you think? Pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's real good. <laughs> Not fair, is it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so just to be fair, we're gonna do cookie to cookie. Okay. Compare, break that in half. Come on. Okay. No, it's chewy. Let you try and we'll I'll give an opinion out in the car. It's chewier, ain't it? Mm -hmm. But not as cakey or crispy. Yep. It's still good too. It's still good. It's a good cookie. Mm -hmm. Not as good as the brownie though. Mm -hmm. 
No. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Dean. We just got done with Firehouse, and it's it's the last meal we ate before this was Penn Station. The only thing we had in between was a little Debbie cake this morning before we left uh, for breakfast, which isn't much for breakfast, but it's what we had. <laughs> what did you have and what did you say? Got the chicken. Chicken what? Chicken bacon ranch. Chicken bacon, that's, that's one of her go-to sandwiches. Yes. She gets those a lot of And yesterday you had the chicken teriyaki. Yeah. Which was the better, not flavor, because that's not fair, better way they do a sandwich. I kind of like the chunks better at Penn Station. The chunks of chicken. What yeah. was it here? I didn't even know. Sliced. Sliced, sliced deli chicken. Okay. Bread. Comparing the bread. Yeah, this is both pretty good. Mm -hmm. I guess if you're in a crunchy mood, then Penn I mean, Penn Station, if you want it softer, then <clears throat> more like a sub type, then you do Firehouse. Okay. What about <clears throat> uh, the dessert thing? Cookie versus cookie. I think I like that one better. Penn Station is better on the cookie. Okay. Yeah. Brownie versus cookie. Brownie. Brownie. <laughs> if y'all ain't had a firehouse brownie, you've you've missed brownies. Um, my opinion. Bread I prefer at Penn Station because again I ordered a cold sandwich and they served it on hot toasted bread. I've never had that in a sub place anywhere else that I can remember. That was amazing and it was really good. The meat itself, you got more meat on the sandwich here, and I think the quality of the meat at, at Firehouse, rather. At Firehouse, you got more meat at Firehouse. The quality of the meat tasted, just, just the overall flavor just about made me cry. Um, I guess one had less than tomato on yours and the other one didn't, was right? No, it had it. It had, oh, okay. it had small, small little bites of tomato. Okay. Um, like Roman tomatoes, maybe, or something. Um, it, the cookie is not fair. Cookie at Penn Station easily beats the cookie here, even though this was a very good cookie. But the brownie, like the end, like you said, it whips those others. And Penn Station has fries in this one. Though. Penn Station has fries as an option, <laughs> uh, and they hand cut them on, on premises. Here, you're just getting potato chips, or I don't even know what other sides they may have. I, soup Mac and cheese, soup, I think chili, which that stuff's That's new ish. Okay. I guess, whatever, uh, yeah. uh, if, if that's what you like. If they're side by side, which one would you go to? Well, because in Pigeon Forge, they're not that far apart. Yeah. Probably in Knoxville, they're not that far apart. <laughs> uh, some of the other locations. Yeah. Um, I'd be very conflicted. I, I can't, you know, when we did Jersey Mike's and Subway last year, mm -hmm. that was easy win for Jersey Mike's. That wasn't even a comparison. That was a slaughter. Uh, but here, I, I don't know. Just, just, I really don't know. Well, neither. Um, Y'all try them both and see, I guess. They're both, both are really good and they got their own good points and yeah, things yeah. that you can't get to other places. Yeah. So, anyway, in Farragut, Tennessee, you're getting ready to start heading home. It's been a long, long week. Brian and Dan saying, see y'all. Love you, man. Okay, see you.